You know, when you hear the word Chuck, people of a certain age always say, and Bob. And you're probably saying to yourself, who is Chuck and Bob? Well, for fans of the great soap opera, Soap, Chuck and Bob were probably two of the most important brother characters in the history of that uh, very, very controversial and very funny pseudo takeoff of the soap opera genre of the late 70s and early 80s. Now, uh, J. Johnstone, a great, great ventriloquist, brought his alter ego, uh, Bob, he played Chuck to Bob, and Bob himself has had to be seen to be believed. Self-centered, with a very big kind of Donny Osmond haircut, sexual, uh, you know, very sexual, very sarcastic, very antagonistic, one-liners like crazy. Now, according to the soulsfandom.com website, Chuck is always seen with his dummy Bob. Now, he is the son of Bert played by Richard Mulligan, who was basically the male lead in the show. Now, uh, he, was play, he was several years on the show, did, wasn't on the show originally, until he showed up literally out of nowhere. Bob is very much antagonistic to er nearly everyone he comes in contact with. Now, most of the major characters, including, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 Bert's uh, second wife's children, especially, uh, you know, uh, uh, the characters play, played by Billy Crystal, would always be trying to do something to battle Bob to, to save Chuck, especially the, the very... Uh, important scene where uh, Bob was put in the fridge by the Billy Crystal character, and uh, Bob said, "You know what lights these on in there?" Uh -huh. Now, both families did not like the idea of a dummy uh, being treated like a human, and many times people would uh, talk to Bob, and then he finally realized that they were talking to a dummy. Now, only Jessica Tate, Chuck's aunt by marriage, would see Bob as a real person, and that was because she herself, again, was quite daffy. Uh, you know, lights are on, but only half the people are home. Now, Bob would be so aggravating where many of the characters, notably Bert, Danny, Jody, and Benson, wanted uh, dearly to see physical damage done to him. There was a lot of sight gags involving all four causing uh, problems. Now, uh, in many humorous scenes, he was threatened. He was threatened to be made into Lincoln Logs, made into a pepper mill, turned into kindling, turned into sawdust, even being threatened to be put through a wood chipper. And at various times, he was strangled, thrown out of a window, and it was even put in the freezer. At one point, Barney Gerber, uh, the great Harold Gould, uh, a heart patient who shared a hospital room with Jody Dallas, who was waiting sex change uh, surgery, uh, after hearing one too many insults from the obnoxious Bob would wish that the dummy would get a terminal case of termites. Now, whatever happened to Chuck and Bob after the show was canceled was not sure. Now, here's the major controversy. Many, many characters on Soap Read are nominated or won Emmy Awards. Jay Johnson never got a Best Supporting Actor nomination. But here's the deal. Would you nominate Chuck or Bob? Or both? How do you nominate a Ventrocos? CHCH, by the way, in Canada, showing uh, uh, the shows and repeats with a disclaimer at the front, maybe because of Chuck and Bob, on uh, 1057 on the Bell Dish. And let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Unedited is probably some of the most weirdest sight gags you'll ever see. Now, ventriloquists have been very popular through the years, but Chuck and Bob, again, people of a certain age, they are the greatest ventriloquist team, ventriloquist team ever. For a lot of people, because you didn't, you you knew old Chuck was was the yin to Bob's yang, and what really really stood out for a lot of people, uh, Jody had a daughter to uh, an affair with I think a, a legal assistant that he became friends with, and uh, Jody had named the daughter uh, Wendy, and for some reason, 
Bob fell in love with Wendy, and it was kind of a running gag where he would say the word Wendy and almost like a, uh, a a sad refrain, oh, my Wendy, 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 or like happiness, or when Wendy was being taken away in her child custody, I don't know what I'm going to do without my Wendy, 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 Wendy. So it was kind of weird because uh, he never offered a series of Chuck and Bob by himself. It would have been quite interesting. But... He, Jay Johnson has toured successfully over the years. There's various uh, shows, including a show on Broadway for a while. And I basically believe that Chuck and Bob were the, were the st straw that stirred the drink. Everything would be crazy in the show, but with Chuck and Bob, like I said, uh, the straight man and, uh, you know, the one-liner. But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when Chuck... Uh, when Chuck and Bob first arrived in the show, we said to ourselves, how can this get any weirder? And like I said, it got really weird after that. You had alien abduction, you had uh, cults, you had uh, a teacher falling in love with uh, one of the young members of the family, you had, you know, uh, a near cancerous death, alien pregnancies, where a major character got pregnant by alien because uh, Bert was hauled up to the ship and an alien was, duplicate was sent down. You had mafia related, all the soap opera tro tropes. But Chuck and Bob, ladies and gentlemen, made our day in so many ways. So if you're a Chuck and Bob fan, let us know with a like, comment, or subscribe. And if you have a chance, uh, if you don't have CHCH, I think it's on public domain channel in Ontario uh, through uh, satellite. Check it out, because if you never saw soap before, uh, Chuck and Bob is the straw that stirs the drink, and probably a top 10 uh, comedic, so a comedic soap opera of all time, or situation comedy, uh, just tremendous. But the problem is soap uh, became too repetitive at the end, too many, like any soaps, uh, too many plots that made absolutely no sense. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye.